Have you ever wondered what your DNA looks like? You've probably heard that DNA is a double helix, but how do we know that? How can people look at DNA? I'm Jennifer, and today we're going to do an experiment so you can actually look at DNA. You won't be able to see that special double helix shape. That requires some very fancy equipment, but you will get to see some DNA. So what is DNA anyway? Well, it's what your genes are made of, and your genes are like recipes for making you who you are. So your DNA has all the instructions for making you, your hair, your eyes, your brain, and every living thing has DNA making up the instructions for them, animals, plants, and of course, me and you. Since DNA is so important, it's not just floating around inside our bodies, it's kept in a safe place, and that safe place is inside your cells. We're made up of trillions of cells, and nearly all the cells in your body, your muscle cells, your skin cells, your brain cells, have nearly six feet of DNA packed into them. You can think of a cell as being like a house with lots of different rooms for doing particular things. So, like a house, a cell has a wall around the outside to protect what's inside. The wall of an animal cell is called the cell membrane. And there are special rooms for doing different jobs, like the mitochondria, which makes the energy for the cell. Now, there's a really special, safe room inside the cell called the nucleus. The nucleus is where DNA is kept and protected. So, the first thing we need to do to look at DNA is to actually get the DNA out of the cell. So to do that, we're going to have to first break down the walls around the house, the cell membrane, and then we have to break down the walls around that special room, the nucleus. And that's what we're going to do today. You actually don't need to be in a laboratory to do this experiment. We're going to do this right in our own kitchens. So I'll see you there.